What's going on guys? My name is David and welcome back to yet another brand new BuzzFeed test. I just want to start off this video by saying I am about 95% recovered from my sickness last week. The thing would just not go away. It lingered for like 8, 9, 10 days I think maybe. But like I said, I am almost all the way recovered. Thank you all for your very concerned tweets and comments. Reading those over just made me feel a hundred times better. But if you guys remember a couple weeks back now, I did a BuzzFeed versus test where I put up stuffed chicken parmesan up against chicken parm stuffed garlic bread. Now the garlic bread one did win, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the recipe we're going to be trying out today is going to top them both. Today, I'm sure I will be freaking out a bunch of authentic Italians by combining lasagna with chicken parm. Two of my absolute favorite meals of all time. My grandma absolutely kills these recipes, so I got some high standards here, but let's give it a try anyway. If you want to make this recipe at home, you're going to need to grab yourself some flour, some breadcrumbs, ricotta cheese and oil, chicken, oven-ready lasagna pasta, basil, marinara sauce, parmesan cheese, eggs, and mozzarella cheese. Now guys, before I get to the chicken part or the actual construction of our lasagna, I want to start prepping all of our cheeses. First, I grabbed my block of mozzarella cheese and grated about three quarters of it. Now just note ahead of time that all of these measurements are going to vary based on how big your pan is and how many layers you're making. But for the size pan that I'm making, this ended up being the perfect amount. Now since my parmesan cheese was already pre-shredded, I just threw that into a bowl alongside my mozzarella cheese. You of course can shred your own if you'd like, it's up to you. And just put those off to the side for now. Next, I just grabbed my ricotta cheese, measured out two cups of that, and then added one full egg. Whenever I make lasagna at home, I always do the same thing with the egg. I'm not really sure exactly what it does. I usually also add a bunch of spices along with this, but the recipe doesn't call for that, so I will cooperate. And just put that to the side once you've got it completely mixed in. Now we can begin to work on our chicken. Trim some of the fat off of three full chicken breasts and then lay them out on your cutting board and carefully cut them in half. Again, you might need more or less chicken depending on the size of your pan. I also just gave each one of my chicken breasts a quick pounding with this mallet just to flatten them out a little bit so that the entire breast has the same exact cooking time. I stacked those all up on my countertop off to the side and then prepared the bowl of breadcrumbs, a few eggs, and some flour. You guys have seen me do this way too many times on this show. I also just quickly sprinkled some salt and some pepper on both sides of all of my chicken just so it adds a little bit of extra flavor underneath its breaded coating. This many episodes into this show, you guys know the drill by now. First, I put the chicken into the flour, removed all of the excess flour, then into the egg wash, and then finally into the breadcrumbs. I honestly feel like I could do this process in my sleep at this point. I quickly just powered through each and every one of the chicken breasts that I was going to cook, then went over to my stove, grabbed some oil, let it heat up for a minute or two, and then threw down my chicken. Now because I pounded these out a little bit, they're only going to really take a few minutes on both sides. So just keep an eye on yours, you only really want them lightly browned on the outside because remember, they're going to be finished off cooking in the oven. And now that those are finally done, we can begin to assemble our lasagna. I followed Tasty's exact steps in the video by first throwing down some marinara sauce, then some sheets of pasta, then I spread a layer of the ricotta cheese, I then added three of the chicken breasts and topped those with a bunch of the shredded mozzarella and parmesan cheeses. Then just repeat that whole process for as many layers as you want to make or how many you could fit in your pan. I actually only ended up getting two in mine. The very last step here is to bake it in a 350 degree oven for 45 to 60 minutes. Mine took about 50 and holy moly, this looks amazing. The crust on top looks absolutely perfectly browned and crispy. The cheese looks nice and melty and delicious. I just cut a quick piece up. Look at that plating. I've eaten lasagna way too many times in my life to even begin to count and the look of this still even impresses me. I almost don't even want to like eat this because it's like so perfect looking. But you know, for the sake of the show, I'm gonna have to do it. I think I got a little piece of everything in here. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Just as I suspected. It's amazing. Now, going into this, I kind of knew that these two recipes were going to mend perfectly together. And... I was right, because they absolutely do. Now, I'm sure I'm gonna be heavily biased here. As good as it is, I do have a few little things that could be tweaked here and there. Normally, I would put a lot more spices in the ricotta cheese, besides just an egg, just to give it a little more depth of flavor. It's still good. The chicken is cooked in the middle really, really well. It's still juicy and delicious. But the bottom chicken, the crust, kind of got a little soggy from the tomato sauce. So if I were to make this again, I'd probably leave it in the pan with the oil for just another few minutes. Also, the very middle layer of the oven-ready lasagna pasta is not all the way cooked. It's not inedible and crunchy, but I would have definitely cooked it for another few minutes to get it to an al dente. I'm only so picky about this because I've eaten these recipes a million times growing up, but it's still a really, really good recipe. 100% I would make again and recommend that you guys try it at home. It's going to get a 9.278 out of 10. Hope you guys liked this week's recipe. If you did, smash a like on this video for me. Let's see if we could hit 5,000 on this one. My Twitter and Instagram are in the description. If you want to go follow me, if you have any more suggestions for recipes that you want me to try out, leave them down in the comments, and I'll see you for next week's video. Peace.